Toys R Us was an $11 billion business. They were the only self-standing toy company, and the loss I don't think will ever be filled by any other, uh, any other channel. And uh, we used to do uh, about 140, 150 million dollar in little tykes with Toys R Us year round because they had the space for the bigger items, etc., to make, and that is now gone. Uh, our capacity was at about 50 percent um, in our factory. With the liquidation of Toys R Us, we're at about 23 to 25 percent capacity. We have engineers, we have designers, we have a, a fantastic quality control team that can take the product from concept all the way through to distribution. We have um, direct shipping if that's what a customer needs. So we can manufacture any type of plastic product here in Hudson and that will help us fill our capacity. And so what's happened is because of that, with the limited shelf space, we've actually, it's required us to look at different ways to showcase our products. So now retailers who have very uh, um, precious space, we ship it in a flat box and we put a working prototype next to it so they actually see how it works, a demonstration piece. And so it's just, it's changed a little bit in terms of our overall strategy of how we bring it to market. When we had Toys R Us, we used to have four ant farms because Toys R Us liked a big variety. Now we have two varieties of ant farms. So the idea is the selection is going to narrow a bit because we don't have the big showcase that we used to have for Toys R Us. And if there's an opportunity for Toys R Us to come back, maybe with a smaller footprint, a different kind of more experiential, ex experiential um, you know, kind of concept, then we'll be happy to support that and we'd be very excited about it. But right now, the market is sort of big box and specialty brick and mortar retailers and online retailing and that's what we're focusing on.